everyone, it's Tasia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be kind of like a walkthrough of how I set up my planner or how I will be setting up my planner for 2016. Um, I've been doing things a little differently this past year where I had planners for certain things. For some parts, I'm going to keep it that way. For example, my business planning will stay in one of my Erin Condren planners. Um, that planner, I never really show you folks because one, it's really personal and two, it's not cute at all. I mean, I really just kind of jot things down and scratch things out and nothing is really, uh, there's no effort into making that thing look nice. It is just pure function. So that is going to stay the same, but I really wanted to consolidate a lot of my home life and a lot of my day-to-day -day things in one planner. So I'm choosing to put it in a ring style band. Ugh. a ring style planner so that way I can uh, kind of change it out as the year changes and how I as I change because I can guarantee you this is not how I'm going to be planning at the end of the year I just change too much I'm always um, I'm always evolving I'm always trying new things or seeing what works better and I'm always trying to improve so I really doubt that this is going to stay the same but there's nothing wrong with that so yeah, let's get started. So I'm choosing an A5 planner only because it allows me a little more room than a personal size planner. Um, for those of you who don't know, a personal size planner is definitely tinier. So this is a personal size in comparison to the A5. I really enjoy using my personal size planner um, when it comes to traveling and things like that. It's really easy to put in my purse and, you know, it just, it's easier, but this again is going to allow me more space. So let's go ahead and open it up and I will give you a little tour. Whoops. So this is what I am greeted with when I open up my planner. I try to keep things really fun and really bright only um, because that's the way I like it. I like to, if I'm having a not so good day, I can open up my planner and it's not going to reflect that. So with that being said, let's get started. Um, my pockets, I try to keep cute but functional at the same time. So a lot of these things in my pockets, I am going to actually be able to use and two, it's not too cluttered. The last thing I want is for things to be falling out of my planner. So this stuff is really in there well. It, it's all tucked in and tight. Um, yeah, so let's zoom in here just a little bit. I have, first off, these cute little felt clips that I get from an Etsy shop called Sa uh, excuse me, Shining Star Boutique, and they're just so adorable. They are so cute. They, I really enjoy using them. I have a ton of them. I have like this little bowl here, and I just ordered a whole bunch more Valentine's Day clips. They're just super cute, and I really like them. So we have that, and then I also put a lot of different post-it notes in there. When it comes to the post-its, if I can, I don't put the whole pad because I don't want to add bulk and I don't want to add weight. So, for example, these post-its, I only have maybe about five or six of them. And then these guys, I have the whole pack only because I really like how they're all lined up. They're like little llamas or alpacas or something like that. So this is the package there. So we have that. And then in my little pocket here, I have some functional stickers that I may use on the go. Um, I always check my mail while I'm in the car. Like I'll go to the mailbox and then it's usually when I'm heading out. So I'll sit in the car before we get going and I'll open up all my mail. I just can't wait. And the bad thing about that is, for example, say I open up my electric bill and I'll be like, oh, okay, I gotta pay that and I'll remember and then I fling it to the back seat and it never makes it out of my car so I never remember. So I'm going to be using these to kind of flag down when my bills are due. And then the little coffee stickers, any excuse for me to go drink coffee is a good excuse to me. <laughs> so if somebody's like, hey, let's meet up, I'm like, yeah, great, let's meet up for coffee. So <laughs> I use those stickers a lot. And then my meeting stickers as well as some mail stickers. So be it maybe I'm receiving something or sending something, I like to use those to kind of flag those. So those stay in my pocket. And then we have my dashboard. So this is kind of like a Frankenstein of things from different planners. For example, this is from the Simple Stories planner. I really like it. It pops out 
and basically it's just a little dashboard of post-it notes and they're on there really well which I really like so you have this normal size post-it and then they go down in size and these are my favorite because they have like little little reminders to do certain things so that clips in really easily and then for my dividers I actually made my dividers out of uh, some scrapbook paper and just some regular paper I just cut them out by hand and yeah it was super easy you just use a template of an old insert and you just copy it so really easy I was going to laminate them but in all honesty I got lazy so I didn't want to cut it twice <laughs> so I cut it out once and I was like that works perfect but it would be nicer if I laminated it but then I thought ugh I have to cut them all out again so I skipped on it so <laughs> I can always change my mind in the future and so that's where I'm going uh, so these are just pieces of scrapbook paper and then this here is actually a little card that I got from Walmart I never shop at Walmart uh, I just don't like to but somebody told me that they had like these little cards these were on clearance and they were only a dollar and they just have the cutest little things in there so I broke my rule and I went to Walmart <laughs> and I got those uh, and then I have this cute little magnetic clip from the movie up and I got that from crafty van I think it's called but I will put a link down below so let's skip over so the first chapter I have are my daily things and so again I have another little bookmark from uh, simple stories and I really like this one because it says hello today let me zoom up here so it says hello today and it sticks out slightly so as I get deeper into my planner I can just use it to flip to the page that I'm on I really like um, all these inserts I've actually made myself and I have them in my shop but I really like this one in the sense that I can just jot down the things that I'm doing that day. So really easy if I don't want to forget something, I can just plop it in there. So we have that. And then the next one we have is my weekly tab. And in the weekly tab, again, I have another bookmark so I can flip to it really easily. And then it's just a weekly layout of what's going on. So I can kind of have an overcap instead of the day to day. These are things that I'll be actually planning out. So we have that, and then we have a notes section, and the notes section is just that, uh, just if I have something that I need to jot down. So basically it's just a bunch of lined paper. And then I have my bills tab, and the bills um, is just so I can keep track of all the things that I'm doing. I pay a lot on my mobile app, and I pay a lot, like I do everything online. So and it's not all at once so I really like that I can label down you know what bill is going to be due the amount the due date and then I can check it off if I paid it so again when I'm sitting in my car checking my mail I can just jot it down in here really quick and then take care of it later so we have that and then I also have a few pages of this um, insert as well we're trying to plan on or we're not trying to we are planning on buying a house next year I'm not too sure when it might be in the beginning of the year it might be in the middle we're really in no rush um, but with that being said I really need to buckle down on our finances so I made this insert to kind of help track our spending so I have that and then I have my menu planning inserts which I already started farting around with um, but I really like these because not only does it plan all my dinners but I write down ideas for my breakfast, lunch, and snacks because I am infamous for just like spending all of my time focusing on what I'm going to have for dinner. And then I come home and I feel like I don't have any food <laughs> because I only bought things for dinner. And I don't have like any breakfast or lunches and then I go end up going out and it's just money wasted. So I put those in there so I can kind of focus on that as well. And then my grocery shopping. Um, I break it down by store and then that way I can be really effective so if I'm in Target I know exactly what I need instead of like a long list and kind of trying to scan through it and see what I'm gonna get where it's just all gonna be there my last tab is my extra tab and I actually haven't filled that in yet I think I'm going to be putting kind of like a fitness section in this back part so it's empty 
and then I also put in this pocket folder that I got from Simple Stories as well so I can put little documents or things that I need to keep together. But yeah, that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. I hope it gave you maybe little ideas on how to set up your personal planner. Um, but I hope you guys are having a great week and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!